Okay, right here you see the remains of a Bucyrus Erie 44B crawler drag line. Now as you can see, there's not much left of this old machine. It's been parked and left here long abandoned. But I'm going to take and show you around a little bit and also tell you some history about this machine. The 44B was launched by Bucyrus Erie in 1939 as a replacement for the company's older model, the 43B. There was little done to the actual machine size. The 43B and 44B are very close in size. The undercarriages are the same. The house remained the same. Basically, a 44B is just an upgraded 43B. One of the biggest changes was the older 43B was a one and three quarter yard machine, while the 44B right here was a two yard machine, whether it be a crawler drag line or a stick front. Now I'll take and show you around a little bit. From here you can get a good view of the lower works on this machine. You can see it is chain driven crawlers. You can see the big chain running around the rear sprocket that goes and connects up to your drive motor. This is something that I found interesting right here. If you look on the back of the rear counterweight, you can see where this custom built metal tank has been mounted. This is something custom right here. Okay, a 44B did not have a metal tank installed on the rear counterweight like this. Most likely, this tank was for fuel, but most 44Bs that were shipped right from the factory did not have a tank installed on the rear counterweight like this. This was something custom on this machine. Right here you can see the real wide crawler pads to spread the weight of this machine when it's working in soft or muddy conditions. If you look at the house, you'll notice that the cab, the windows are very square on it. This machine is an older style cable machine compared to some of the newer ones built by Bucyrus Erie. Older equipment left abandoned like this is always a big target for vandals or people looking to salvage parts off of it for example, copper, to take to a scrap yard and sell for money. Here you can see where two hand levers have been cut off and sold. This hand lever, however, still remains intact and functional. You can see your two foot pedals on the floor, and right here is where the seat would have been mounted. Behind the operator's seat, you can see more hand levers to work this machine. And here you can get a view of your drum for your hoist and drag. Now the engine, as you can see, there's not much left of the engine on this machine, being that as I said, a lot of people will come to these old machines that are left parked and rip parts off of them uh, to sell for money at a scrapyard. That's why a lot of mining companies have such tight security, because a lot of people are always looking to just get money out of a machine like this if it's parked and left on the side. It's impossible to tell what engine this was in this kind of condition. But a 44B was powered by either a Wisconsin gasoline fired engine or a Buddha diesel. The engine would put out around 170 horsepower. This engine is one of the two. Here you can see where the drag line boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. You can see the other two points on the side there are for if this machine were set up as a shovel. And again, right here, you can see your drum. As you can see, the boom has been lowered down. Here you can get a good view of the top of one of these drag line booms. The two outer sheaves, this one and the one on the opposite side, are to raise and lower your drag line boom and also what hold it up in the air. The two ropes would run around these outer sheaves and up to the gantry. While the center sheave that you see right here is for your hoist rope on your drag line bucket. All three sheaves are connected together by one big pin which runs straight through and holds them all together. And the overall operating weight for a 44B is 60 tons. But there she is, a Bucyrus Erie 44B crawler drag line.